Max was my friend. We went out on the road together. On September 12th, he was found in the treehouse outside Dr. Bob's psychedelic healing shack. When I got the phone call from Trey Pounds, I was hurt and I was in shock. I didn't even know what to think, didn't know what happened. It wasn't until the next day that I saw the video. I haven't spent as much time with Max as some of you. I haven't spent as much time with him as Dr. Bob. But how did Dr. Bob react when he found out Max was gone? In my eyes, he acted guilty, shameful, disrespectful. This man, in this video I'm about to show you, the first thing he thinks about when finding out his friend passed away, pulling out a phone, going live, making jokes, plugging your business, it's sickening. I don't know what Dr. Bob was thinking, but in my eyes, it looks like guilt. And later, I'll show you another video that only adds to my speculation. The video I'm about to show you may be disturbing. I know it is to me. Max was a real unique guy with high energy. When we went out on the road together, he talked my ear off, but he had the best of intentions. He always wanted the best for Max, for Trey, for Rocks TV. He was a team player for everyone involved. He connected me with many people in this industry, music and business, always trying to hook me up, always trying to get me to the next level with someone he knew because Max wanted to see everyone succeed. I truly believe that something foul happened to him at Dr. Bob's psychedelic healing shack. And I believe the Detroit police need to do a proper investigation. Let's look at the video that Dr. Bob did right after the police arrived. Something's always happened at the psychedelic shack. And that boy is cold. And I don't think he's coming back, but... And we got music tonight. Music tonight. Blair! <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, music tonight with Judy Moon. Always something going on. Yes. See this. Yeah. Right on. As you see, the video was disgusting. Dr. Bob should and does have no excuses, as you will see, for his behavior. Since then, plenty of people have come forward to show us things that point towards Dr. Bob's motive, ability, and past history for these kind of things. Other lives have been threatened. Supposedly, other bodies have been found. And Dr. Bob is right there in the middle of it all. There's a lot of speculation of drug use at the psychedelic healing shack and cult activity, witchcraft. What kind of stuff did Max get mixed into? Max was the kind of person who trusted and believed in the best of everyone. And it was very easy for me to believe that he could be misled by a manipulator like Dr. Bob. As you'll see in the next video, when confronted by Max's cousin and feeling threatened, he tries to fake up an apology, but he couldn't find the words to bullshit his way out of this. Check out his half-hearted apology here. Yeah. Mr. President, we're down here with Dr. Bob right now. 
representing, I'm the president representing the hip-hop community. Dr. Bob, please talk to these people. Um, I would like to say I deeply apologize for what I have posted there on Facebook. Um, you may have recognized I didn't mention Max's name. Max has been coming to this place forever, and I do love Max. I just mentioned that a body went down. Um, it, when all this happened, the song by the uh, Temptations came to mind that something always happens at the psychedelic shack. And out of nervousness, I don't know. Sometimes we humans, we just do things. And, and that laugh that came out of me, it wasn't towards Max or death. It, it was towards, um, uh, you know, again, we sometimes respond in an unconscious way. And I do sincerely apologize to Max and his brothers and his family, especially his relatives. And I did love Max and the whole hip hop community. And, and this video and the whole hip hop community also, who I told So as you can see, Dr. Bob is just not a great guy. And whether you believe that he may be guilty of foul play involving Max Julian's passing, or whether you'd believe that his actions were just plain disgusting. We're asking everyone to come out to the Psychedelic Healing Shack tomorrow at 5 o'clock and Saturday at 5 o'clock and help us protest. Help us get attention so we can get a proper investigation by the Detroit Police Department into the circumstances leading to Max passing. Bring candles. Bring friends, bring signs. Max deserved this. He deserves justice. He deserves to be important enough to investigate and put Dr. Bob or whoever's responsible behind bars. We also have set up a GoFundMe page to help his mom send him off right. Funerals and cremations are expensive. We set the goal at 5,000, we're at 1,200. I will put the link in the description below whether you can help out with a dollar, five dollars, 20 or 100, it would make all the difference and I know that Max would appreciate it. This has been hard for me and I thank you for listening.